All right, guys, we're back with another video of solar stuff. We uh, got a beautiful, beautiful fall day. It's just incredible the weather we've been having this fall. And last night I purposefully drained my batteries down. I went duck hunting this morning and sitting out in the duck boat and I saw they were down to 7% and I thought, you know, when I get home, it'd be a good day to uh, try and check out my charge verter. So a couple years ago, I picked up a charge verter from Signature Solar and they're designed more for running with a generator than uh, my inverter is designed or handles like grid power better than it does a generator just because a generator fluctuates so much and stuff they could say dirty power and uh, I put it in and I've never had a reason to use it but when we were out there hunting I thought you know It'd be a really good uh, test to one, check out the charge verter, and two, I haven't ran my generator in quite some time. So before we get into winter, I thought it'd be a really good idea to maybe exercise the generator. Plus then I can mess with the charge verter and get that, uh, set up so when i really need the generator i've already got it got it figured out and i'm not scrambling so that's what we're going to do we're going to get the generator hooked up running and then we'll go down and get the charge verter going All right, I messed up on the next part. I recorded turning the charge verter on and all that stuff, and I didn't have any audio. I have these new mics here that uh, I hit the wrong button and it didn't record the audio. So I'm still learning that, but I'll just walk you through it real quick. Threw the breaker on, the charge verter, I heard it fire up, it kicked out. I did that twice. I went into the settings. I had the amperage set too high. So I dropped the amperage down to uh, 10 amps. That's the nice thing about this thing is you can set the amperage at whatever you want for your generator. And <clears throat> so once it started going, I started incrementally, you know, and like, I think I did 10 amps the first time, or added 10 amps the first time, so I was at 20, and then I went to 40. And the generator, I could hear the load on the generator when it bumped up to 40. So I'm like, that's a good, good spot to do this test at. Um, by the time I got had gotten everything set up and stuff, the batteries were at 13 percent the panels were producing 21 2200 watts and so we'll just give it some time uh maybe an hour or two and then we'll see where we end up All right, guys, it's been about an hour and a half. The generator just ran out of gas. I only put a couple gallons in there and uh, everything worked as it should. Uh, we'll flip this around and you can see how many kilowatt hours we put into it. Oh. 
There we got 3.5 kilowatt hours we put into the batteries. And the batteries are now at 32%. We'll let the solar panels do their thing, so. Get out of here, go on, go on. All right guys, that's been a really good test of the charge verter for me. Uh, very happy with that. You can pick that up at Signature Solar. That's where I generally get most of my stuff. Uh, been really, was really pleasantly surprised with this thing that it started up on the first pole. Um, I've had it for a couple of years and I haven't even ran it. I haven't looked at it or nothing. I should probably change the oil come to think of it. But uh, I, my dad had this for many, many years and I, it's probably about a 20 year old generator and it's only got 27 hours on it. So it's got a lot of life left in it. But yeah, uh, if the charge verter is something that you're looking at getting, Use the link below, uh, just an affiliate link so it doesn't cost you nothing, but just helps, helps me out. So, uh, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.